Hey Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am your girl, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So, um, you guys, I'm here taking care of your daily message for today, August the 11th. August the 11th, 2021. 20, Y'all, I don't know, 2010 almost wanted to come out my mouth. But anywho, um, I'm going to pull the overall energy surrounding my Cancers. Make sure you check out the description box for all the important information that you're going to want to know. But let's see. Thank you, Spirit. What's the overall energy surrounding my Cancers today? August the 11th. Oh no, we got sadness that wanted to come out, Cancer. Sadness, and I feel like the sadness is here because, look, so we have mystery as an underlying energy. There's a, there's a sense of sadness because Cancer can't control it. That's what's going on. Cancer can't. Cancer doesn't have control over what's going on right now. Everything is a mystery to Cancer. And that may have you a little sad here, Cancer. I don't like this. There, um, also, y'all, there could be like, I feel like this sadness is centered around um, these endings that are happening for you, Cancer. And remember what I told you, we, well, I'm not gonna tell you how to feel, but endings only need lead to new beginnings. So it's okay to be sad, but do not stay here, okay? Do not stay here. It definitely feels like, um, yeah, because we have the Ten of Swords here at the bottom of the deck, y'all, with the Queen of Swords here. So I do feel like somebody cut, like, ended something or cut something off with somebody. And it kind of has you a little down. The end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity, see, it's the opportunity for new happiness. A weight off your shoulders, the end of a addiction, a melodramatic reaction. <laughs> and y'all, I laugh because <laughs> cancer, we can sometimes be a little melodramatic. So this sadness, why I'm not judging you because I'm a cancer. I get it. And I be in my moods too. And I be sad, but, um, it may not be as deep. <laughs> it may not be as deep, but let's see what comes out for you, cancer. That's just so many cards. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> What message do you have for my cancers? Oh yeah, y'all, look. So, and I'm gonna keep them because look, we got the 10, we got a lot of 10s that are coming out. So yeah, completions are happening. That's why cancer's a little sad. Um, we got the 10 of wands that came out. You're working too hard or too many hours. The need for balance in life. Let others help you. Health problems to the stress, stress and cancer. I feel like this um, stress is that anxiety, that fear about these endings and letting things and people go. So, yeah, I see you a little overwhelmed here, cancer. Then we have the death card release that came out. And I feel like that's what you're doing today, cancer, releasing in look, endings that lead to new beginnings. Though it's a chance for new happiness. The need to release situations are people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. So, let's see. Because, yeah, look, we have the magician here at the bottom of the day. I definitely feel like it's you, Cancer, that kind of took some action um, and ended some things or are needing to complete and end some things here because um, there's a chance for a new situation, a new happiness um what you need to be successful manifest magic is alive in your life if you believe it you can do it so definitely here's that it's just that kind of more it feels like that morning period because you're mourning who you used to be but um it's still kind of a mystery of who you will be like you're still working that part out so you're just kind of in this little in between and there may be a little sadness there and that's okay cancer as long as you don't stay there remember okay so give me one more here for cancer okay see look because we got the king of pentacles that came out <clears throat> um compassionate accomplished charismatic grounded a time of great success financial security and prosperity the Midas touch everything turning out beautifully see 
Cancer, a supportive parent or spouse, a good person to work for. See, Cancer, I feel like this is embodying, and I just got 444. I feel like this is embodying you, um, and it's coming out at the end. So you come out of success. You come out um, financially secure, prosperous, abundant. Like, that's, your, that's the energy surrounding Cancer. No matter what it looks like, no matter what you're going through, no matter who you got to cut off, no matter what you got to end. It's ending in success, okay? Everything turns out beautifully. Everything turns out beautifully. And we have the nine of cups here at the bottom of the deck. So you end up getting everything that you desire. Your wish fulfillment. Dreams coming true here. Wishes coming true. Your dreams become reality. A magical time of life. Good fortune. Faith in the universe that all will be well. And see, that's the um, energy that you're needing to keep. You can be sad a little bit. I'm going to let you, I'm going I'm to say, you know, feel what you feel, Cancer, because, you know, we Cancers and we're going to feel it anyway. <laughs> but know that it works out beautifully, okay? Know that it all works out beautifully. It all works out the way it needs to for Cancer, okay? Y'all, I like this message. Um, short and sweet. Short and sweet. Um, I'm going to pull you a couple of affirmations. Okay. See, look, y'all, yes, on point with the reading. Um, cause I was very called to um to that deck, y'all. Sorry if you hear the noise. I'm traveling and I'm in the so yeah, it's not my regular spot. But <laughs> um, so but if you have not watched the reading about being on your path cancer, I'll try to remember to drop it in the eye. But I was very called to that deck and I felt like that message was very needed for cancer. So if you're struggling, you feel like you're not on the right path or you're a little afraid on your path, definitely watch that message. You could um, find it helpful. But um, I am living in alignment with my purpose. That's the affirmation. And look at this moon, how, what you're guided by. What have I accomplished lately that really resonated with my soul? How can I strive for more moments like that? So keep that in your mind. What have you accomplished? Remember, celebrate those that growth, okay? Celebrate that growth. But um, so we got my mind is an empty glass today. I will fill it with only pro productive and beneficial thoughts. Yes, Cancer, mind your thoughts. Mind your thoughts because that's why that sadness is here. Excuse me. It says, when am I most likely to experience negative thoughts? How can I encourage myself in these moments? So, Cancer, remember I said you need the tools. Not that negative thoughts won't come. You just need the tools to reroute or reframe those thoughts and not, and not believe them. Okay? It says, I am my own person. This world does not define me. Okay, who am I at my core? That's what you're finding out right now, Cancer, who you really are. What worldly self-hate traps am I likely to fall into based on my personality? How can I remind myself of who I am in these moments? So, all right, Cancer, I'm going to leave your affirmations right there and the reading right there. I do hope that it resonated with someone, but just remember, y'all, it all works out beautifully. No matter what it looks like, it all works out beautifully um so i'm gonna leave it right there you guys um thank you so much for watching make sure you give the video a thumbs up like share subscribe to the channel if you have not already you guys but i will see you um next time in the meantime in between time until next time i love you